Hey, good morning. Happy Sunday. Can y'all believe it is almost the end of June? It's June 24th. What? Didn't we just do Christmas? It just feels like we did Christmas. Because right now, <laughs> it's almost starting to think about Christmas again, and I don't want to. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so how was your week? Mine was pretty okay. Trying to get back into life, for the most part. Um... Yeah. The girls, the ones that have stayed with me for like a month, no, they weren't really a month, it was like three weeks, two and a half, three weeks, they went, they went to visit the rest of their family in New Jersey, so they are there, um, so I'm back to just my household again. Um, I do have my son Jacob's dog for two weeks because he went to, this is like to be young again, he doesn't live with me, but he um, went to a music festival in Michigan. So Forest something or other. And he road tripped with his fiance and everybody, you know, all this. And of course he can't leave his dog. And she is old as dirt. Oh my word, she is old. She doesn't, if she makes it through this summer. But he rescued her as a already known old dog. So she's, she's not gonna make it much longer. She's getting the hips and the joint pains and the walking up and down the steps. And she used to jump on my bed. Now she doesn't. So I gave her Neo's bed because Neo takes my bed anyway. <laughs> so since I sleep alone now, I can't still sleep alone. I got to sleep with a Great Dane. So hmm, there's that. But nope, this week was pretty much uneventful. Same old stuff. And I know I keep saying that. So, but I am really, I know I showed you guys I've been doing on Instagram and stuff that I'm working on that July budget. I am I am tweaking that thing. Every time I think of something, I go back in and switch numbers around and I just play and this and that. So, yeah, um, July is gonna be much better for us, I hope. That's what I'm hoping. But, so I'm definitely working on that. July, I'm also gonna do keto. I've been doing keto and I've been doing okay. My weight fluctuation is a little bit funky and I don't understand why. I'm thinking it's because I'm sedentary and I do. I'm also wondering if it's the anxiety medication that I was kind of told to get back on doing it. Um, so I don't know. Um, Oh, it's AC. So I don't know what, um, I'm just going to get a little more strict on it in the month of July and see. I'm going to, I was restricting my calories before, but I've been really paying attention to like macros and, and lower protein, higher fat, things like that. I don't eat much anyway. So I know why my body's stuck here. I get it, but it's starting to piss me off. So now, mm, and then I think maybe I need to go start walking and stuff. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, definitely going to be doing more recipe videos and things um, come July once I do that grocery haul. I know I said I was going to shop by the week before. It didn't work. It didn't work. There was always something. We cannot do that here. So I'm going back to my monthly shopping and um, I'm going to do what I need to do there. Like I'm going to food prep for the month and then just go back weekly for my fresh produce and things. And really I'm the only one that eats the fresh produce. They won't. I have to hide their stuff in their food for them to eat it. And I'm talking my children. Some of them will. They'll go, Kira will. She will hog my avocados and my broccoli and well, Tyler will eat the broccoli and they get excited. But for the most part, if I want them to get a vegetable in, I got to throw it in the food that they have no choice to eat. So and I've also been buying them protein shakes just to make sure that they're getting everything they get. I don't have them, they do, but they throw in the veggies and the fruits. So, but I can do those frozen. So we've been working on that um, pretty much this week and just getting them on to a better you know, I'm not buying the junk. Somebody commented on my grocery hauls. You don't need to buy your kids this, this, and this. That's all they got for the month. 
and some of them still have their chips and obviously they don't have their soda it goes flat but they only take like a handful at a time and wrap it up and put it away and it's cheaper to buy it like that than it is to buy the little itty bitty bags for like ten dollars that they rifle through or they know this is mine I'm gonna have just a little bit and put it away that's how it works in my house everybody's house is different so they don't just sit there and eat like the whole bag of chips in one sitting oh my god no they don't do that so um, Tyler just came in as I'm doing a video but yes so he wants to ask me something but he's gonna wait five minutes aren't you okay cool he just thumbs me up so um so I don't I don't do that and the pizzas that I bought in that last grocery haul they went into the freezer it's not that we eat eight or nine pizzas at a time I mean we can because there's eight of us if they're small enough that is not an unheard thing I have a larger family than most of y'all I think Jamarel Stort is beating me Jordan Page from funcheaperfree.com she's coming close <laughs> she is coming close she's probably gonna beat me at the end but and then there's something there's one that's like the 10 of us or something she just had a baby and I don't know and then I mean there's a couple people that are way above me but most people that are on this budgeting thing don't have the amount of kids I have and most don't have teenagers um our life on a budget she's she's at the same age with mine but she only has two so it looks like I buy a lot of junk food but there's a lot of people so it kind of works itself out. I, I, I kind of chuckle at those comments because I'm like, seriously? It was a good deal, so I bought it. I'm not eating it as much as I wanted to sit there with a whole bag of Cheetos and just stuff my face. Yes, I do. I'm not. But they do get the fruits. And I, you all have seen all of my grocery hauls. They're full of fruits and veggies and all of that. So whatever um and yes I just said um I'm sorry I'm in I'm in one of those moods today where every negative comment is like Argh. but it's all right it's totally fine um but now um <laughs> oh my god I can't even think I do have my coffee this morning and let's see I'm so excited for this budget to work in July I just want it to be July so my hours will be where my hours are supposed to be and this is supposed to be where that's supposed to be but I'm gonna get that video up that'll be up this week I'm actually gonna fix it today and put it up this week and that it is what it is I'm gonna perfect it just exactly where I want it and then that's it it's still a scorched earth one cuz I'm playing catch up but and I'm okay with that I don't I I am totally fine with playing Scorched Earth for a month because if I play Scorched Earth for a month, I will be fine in August where I can then throw things back into savings and start building that savings back up. And then, then there's Christmas. You know, Christmas, didn't it used to be like a joyful time of the year? I'm 47, and I can remember when I was a kid, we used to go outside and sing carols. There was, there was, um different things to go do now it could be that I'm in Florida and we have no snow and Florida is just weird at Christmas but it's like no Christmas spirit anymore it's all commercialized that drives me bananas I don't mind buying gifts for people I really don't I don't mind buying gifts for my friends I'm well they're older now and I don't but I'm on the fence about Santa you know, I work my butt off. Why does a big fat man get to tell you he got you all these presents? But I understand the magical of somebody coming and dropping stuff off. You know, ooh, while you're sleeping, ooh, you can't see him. I get that. But now it's just like you got to buy for all these people. Your kids have 75,000 teachers and you only have two kids and you got to buy all this stuff. And it's, it, it's a strain. And I know Dave Ramsey says save all year and it's less stressful. The money aspect of it, though, you should not have to spend that amount of money. It's just nuts. And the commercials, and they start in September, and I guarantee you after school stuff starts hitting, Christmas trees are going to be up at Walmart and Target and everything. And it's just like, ugh. Whatever happened to just between Thanksgiving and Christmas? And if you're not from America, you understand what I'm saying, though. The end of Thanksgiving, or the... <laughs> 
the end of November to Christmas. That's not hard. Anyway, I will end that rant there because that one irritates me. But, um, and I slurped. I'm sorry. That was kind of gross. But, yeah. So, I mean, I've got to get onto that savings train. And then I want, yes, I need to save. I don't really have debt. I mean, I have some little bitty debt, but I don't have debt. So if I caught up on all that, I want to take my kids February or March, not on a vacation, but a Florida vacation to do stuff we don't do. I want to take them to Disney or I want to take them to Universal, spend a day or two, get a hotel room. You know, I don't have to pay for a flight. You know, I, want, I, I, want, I really want to do that with them. They've been wanting to go. I've never had the money, so I'm kind of... And that's going to be part of their Christmas as well. So... And they know this because we discussed on where they'd want to go. But, um, yeah. So that's kind of what's been going through my brain this week. Um, I'm thinking ahead. Hopefully, that can be done. They deserve a break. I'm also going to be... I've got homeschool curriculum I've got to work on because I I don't want to say I've slacked since everything's happened. We've done very bare basics. You know, the reading, the math, the grammar, science because you do science. They've done computer stuff. I mean, they've done it. Have I sat them down into a structured environment to have this done? No. My head wasn't in the plate in in the right place theirs definitely wasn't in the right place and that's the joy of homeschooling and unschooling I can do what I want but I can guarantee you I can put a test down in front of each and every one of them and they will pass it above grade level that's why I'm not worried but this year again we got to get back on it so that's I'm actually going to start working on that today too so they can start school when everybody else's kids start school so yeah, I'm going to give them their summer and not even push anything, but come, then it's going to be a let's go, kiddos. I'm not playing. Um, and Chloe and Tyler should actually finish this year and be in graduate. So that's my goal, to get them done. They're only 16, but they'll, they can pass that test. They can pass it now. So um, I just want them to double and triple check that they can pass it and then once they pass it They can graduate and Chloe can go do her nursing that she wants to do Tyler still hasn't made up his mind. I think he wants to be a professional video game player not happening But I mean they, they're out there and they do good and he is really good at the games he plays, but You know he's got to have another thing, but yeah, so the ramblings of my mind this morning are all over the place. I get it. But yeah, I also, and I've been saying it, and I've been writing down all of you guys' thoughts and comments. But please, please, please give me more video ideas because I am saving them for Vlogist. That way I can fill 30 days. Um, and that way I can start filming them in the middle of July for those days. And the, my Sunday chit chats are still going to happen, so that's four video, you know, Sundays. My plan with me's are still going to happen. Um, things are still going to happen through the month of August that are normal. I will still start doing my budgets on Fridays, just like I always used to do. You'll still get my budget and I'll do budget check. We'll, I'll do my recaps and I'll do my next month's budget and we'll go like that. But I need filler videos for like the other three days a week. I'll still do grocery hauls. But if I can get those, and a lot of you have said you want to see organizing videos, I need to organize. I really, really do. So I'll do some of those, which it'll give me um, time because the way I want to organize, I have to do a Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> so, you know, but it, it's, it's definitely going to be worth it. It needs to be done. I haven't, I've been wanting to do it since I moved in here and I haven't. So now it's time. So... But anything else you can think of or you want to throw in? Oh, I love the ones where I did how I got my dog's names and my kids' names. I'll definitely put those out there. But, yeah. Anything else, throw them down there. Absolutely. And I will get those done. And we might do a Q&A, too, for Vlogist. But I'll probably call for that at the end of July so I can film it and get it up. So, yeah. But, all right. 
y'all please like subscribe comment on everything down below and I will um oh like subscribe and comment on everything down below did you hear that no please like subscribe comment all my social media is down below I kind of added snapchat I really don't know what I'm doing on snapchat all I know is I can make myself have ears and look cute you know, and that's really what a 47-year-old woman should be doing, right? Playing around with bunny ears. <laughs> I still do that. Don't judge me. But, all right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.